The Odd Pod. Odd Pod. Hello and welcome to Monday's Odd Pod. Plans are afoot for another Manx Children in Need fundraising drive. We were involved in this with the Lions Club many, many moons ago and I thought I'd delve back into the archives and find a very butch and very sincere Ben Hartley in his early 20s, so he tells me, closing down the fundraising day on the station. We spent all day at the Sea Terminal buildings in Douglas and you raised thousands and thousands of pounds. And Ben, if you download this and hear it, I'm sorry. You'll hear some names of some people who are sadly no longer with us, such as former MHK Martin Quayle and Swap Shop presenter and all-round good girl Susie Richardson. It's about time that we had a look at the uh, the final running total, certainly for today anyway. So uh, we'll have a look at that now. We end up with round about £31,600. <laughs> is an incredible total for today of course there's still so much more money to come in we've got checks to come from the bars we've got checks to come from finance houses people who've organized wacky fundraising events all sorts of stuff like that we have got a huge amount more money to come in of course last year's total was fifty thousand pounds let's see if we can work really really hard and beat that we look forward to finding out maybe in about two or three months once all the checks are in once all the money are in obviously it's a lot of hard work collating it but we certainly look forward to finding out from the Lions Club, exactly how much money has been raised for the Manx Radio Children in Need Appeal 2002. And do go to the website because there's lots of photographs from the sea terminal today. It's all there. The hair-raising shave away, Jimmy Constable's on there, the umpire band, Dot Tilbury, Nick Saunders playing his ukulele, more or less everybody that was down here today. It's all there. And we're almost out of time here at the sea terminal A few thank yous to get to before the end of the programme. First of all, a very big thank you to our generous sponsors today, the Steve packet they've uh, they've laid on the sea terminal for us they've given it up they've been very kind indeed and they've let us take over the whole building and it's been great we've had a fabulous time we couldn't have had a better venue a big thank you to all of our presenters who've been part of the day george ferguson roy mcmillan tim glover and sarah palmer and simon clark all went out and about in the conister voyager uh, catching up on all of the things that have been happening thank you to bernie quayle susie richardson ian cotier our engineers jim francia darren leeming eddie callow thank you to the president of tim Ward, noel Chris Ringle, MHK, David Cretney and uh, Martin Quayle as well. Richard Corkill, the Chief Minister for their karaoke efforts. The Lieutenant Governor, Air Marshal Ian McFadden, our special guest from 911, Jimmy Constable. Also thank you to our off-air coordinator, Maureen Callow. Also to Chris Williams, the real star of today. The Shave Away raised over £6,000. Thank you to Andy Wint, our executive producer, and to our OB producer, Paul Moulton. And the one person who we really have to thank for today is you. Because without you, today wouldn't have been possible and wouldn't have been successful. From myself, Ben Hartley, good night from the Isle of Man Sea Terminal and from the Manx Radio Children in Need Appeal 2002. Broadcasting from the Isle of Man. The Odd Pod. Odd Pod.